it's been heartwarming for South Africans to watch Banyana Banyana finally receive financial compensation for their success. But the history of footballers going broke at the end of their careers, a conversation about financial literacy is required. And that's where Sassel will step up. Let's take a look. Another big payday for AFCON winners Banyana Banyana as the windfall from their continental success increased, this time by another 5.55 million rand from their headline sponsor. It's a significant turnaround for players who weren't sure where they stood on performance bonuses with days to go before the tournament began. I can't believe half of the things that are happening to us right now. Um, but it's a catalyst, it's a start, it's a beginning of what uh, many women across the country have been wanting, us included. We understood the mission from the beginning that we want to win this AFCON because we truly believed it would change things in the country. So now that things are looking like they, they are changing, I cannot be more grateful, I'm overwhelmed. With large sums of money being directed to the team by sponsors, the governing body, provincial and national governments, players will be guided on how to manage these funds. What started as playing for passion instead of money is now setting up this group of players well for the future. Financial advice is very important for us, especially getting a lump sum of money in your account that you actually don't know what to do with it because we've never had this amount of money in our account. So it's very important that uh, we get the advice. You know, uh, football is not um, a long-term career. We're not getting, we're not contracted to earn money monthly. So this money will, you know, end rather quickly if we don't work wisely with it. The 5.55 million rand adds to the 15 million rand that was promised to the team earlier this week, among other incentives received since the history-making win over Morocco on July 23rd. Flonim Timkulu, Johannesburg.